I got a new fragrance, so today we are here to do another love, like, or let down. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on Santal Complet, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be all about Fragrance Dubois Santal Complet. Now this has taken some willpower because this fragrance has been sitting at my house for like a week and a half, two weeks. <laughs> because I wanted to do this video for you all. I just hadn't found the time to do it yet. So here we are today to talk about it. Now, if you've never seen one of these love, like, or let down videos from me, in them I give you my very first impression. And then I, at that time I tell you at first sniff if it's a love, like, or let down. And then in the same video, I come back after wearing it, usually at least three days, and I give you guys a more thorough review on it. And at the end of that video, I'll let you know if it ended up being a love, a like, or a let down for me. So let's go ahead and open this baby up. It comes in this box. This is my second fragrance from Fragrance Dubois. So I have seen these before, but let's go ahead and open it up. And inside you get this very, very nice velvet box. <laughs> very luxurious. I think because of the packaging of these, they would make excellent gifts as long as you know the person will like the fragrance because Fragrance Dubois is quite expensive. So let's go on and open it up. And there it is. Now you guys may remember me talking about this fragrance on, what was it? Oh, it was on like a fragrance wish list or brands that I want to try more from in the future. So I kind of cheated in that video because I did talk about this fragrance, but I had honestly already ordered it. It just hadn't made it to my house yet. So I still included it because I came up with the video concept for that before I ordered this. Um, but yeah, so I knew I was getting it. So it was so interesting to hear your thoughts on that video about this fragrance. But yeah, so let's talk about the fragrance. Bottle is gorgeous. It looks like all the other fragrance Dubois fragrances. I'm pretty sure this one only comes in the 100 ml size. Um, I'm not sure. I will look into that before I do the second portion of this video, but that's the size that I got. So let's go ahead and spray this baby. So I'm going to spray the tester first since I have time to do that today. Hmm. Okay, this smells really good. It smells tropical, but also has that musky feel to it. I really like musk. So it smells very like soft and sensual, but also like sweet and fruity. Yeah, I really like this. It does smell pretty light. But yeah, I, I really like this so far. Okay, let's spray it on the skin. This is going to be my scent of the day. It is 61 degrees right now. So for me, that's kind of cold, but not too cold and it's sunny. So we shall see how this does. Of course, I will be wearing this for the next few days. So I think we should have a nice range of temperatures in between um, the next few days. So hopefully when I come back, I can give you guys an idea of what type of weather and all I prefer it in. So, all right, let's smell it on the skin. Okay, this smells really good. Definitely tropical fruits. I can smell some florals in there too, but I can't put my finger on what type. To me, mainly I'm getting tropical fruitiness with musk and it's really pretty. There's something, something addictive that I'm smelling in this. It's very bright. I'm assuming it's some sort of fruit, but I can't put my finger on what type. Mm, I love this. <laughs> I already gave y'all my first thoughts, huh? <laughs> So as you can see, as of right now, this is a love for me. I am going to continue wearing this fragrance and I will be back within the same video. So don't go anywhere. I'll be back within the same video to give you all the deets on the fragrance and let you know at that time after I've tried it out more, if it's a love, like, or let down. So just keep watching. 
Hey y'all, so I am back. And first up, don't be alarmed, it's still Aisha. I know my hair is different, <laughs> but it's still the same on me. But anyway, it's been a week since I filmed the first portion of this video. So I have worn Santal Complet probably about five or six times at this point. So I feel like I have a good grasp on what I think about it. So when I wear Santal Complet, I definitely feel like the sandalwood is the most prominent note in it. Now, I also get some coconut and what smells to me like some sort of nondescript tropical flower, even though I don't believe any tropical flowers are actually listed in the composition of this fragrance. That's what it smells like to me, like a nondescript tropical flower mixed with coconut and sandalwood. But overall, sandalwood is definitely the most prominent note in this fragrance. I will say this sandalwood is super creamy and it's also sweet and it also kind of smells like it's mixed with some vanilla. So a sweet creamy sandalwood with some coconut to it and a little bit of tropical floral nature to it. I do want to add that this fragrance does change throughout the wear. So initially I do get a very bright fragrance. So that's when the tropical florals are really the most prominent to me. But as this fragrance dries down, it becomes more of a creamy, sweet sandalwood with a little bit of coconut and the florals kind of fade more to the background. So I believe Santal Complet is marketed as unisex. However, for me, it smells feminine. I can't really imagine a man wearing this, but I would, I would like to know if any of you men that are watching this, if you wear this, let us know what you think about it. But to me, it does smell like a feminine fragrance. Longevity and projection, I know it's always very controversial, especially I feel like when it comes to a high end fragrance, we all have such different expectations of what we think is good projection and good longevity. So I'm just going to give you guys my experience. Take it up with a grain of salt. Fragrances can perform differently on all of us. So I get pretty good longevity out of this fragrance. I would say it lasts on me probably anywhere from like six to eight hours. However, <laughs> At some point it becomes a skin scent. So it is not projecting that entire time. On me, when I initially spray this fragrance, I do get a nice little bubble of fragrance. I don't know exactly how far it projects, but I do know that yesterday I wore this to work, got two compliments. And I was probably, at that point, I was probably standing about five feet away from these people. So I feel like the projection is pretty good at first. However, the longer I wear this, the less the projection becomes and it kind of becomes more of a personal skin scent. I would say probably around the like five hour mark. I think that's pretty good for this type of scent because when you smell this, it's kind of hard to explain like through the camera. It's kind of one of those things you have to smell, but when you smell it, it's this very like soft, creamy scent, but you can still smell it. So it smells soft and fluffy, but apparently people can still smell it on you. So I think that's actually pretty good for this type of fragrance. I feel like other fragrances that I have that remind me of this one or are in the same kind of class as this fragrance, they give me similar performance or worse performance. So just take that with a grain of salt. I have heard people say that this fragrance performs badly on them, but for me, it's actually pretty decent. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> So when I picked this fragrance up, I expected to only wear it during the spring summer because I knew it was kind of like a tropical sandalwood scent. However, I have been wearing it and it's been cool or cold for me over the last few days and it actually really worked out well. I don't think this is a fragrance that I have to limit to vacation or for really hot days, but I do think it's going to work really well on the hot days as well because it has been like up and down here. Like one day it was 80 and then another day it was like, 50 so <laughs> it's been up and down here so i feel like this is actually going to work for me year round now when i think about what places i would want to wear it i think this would be perfect for like day dates definitely vacation um i wore it to work the other day and i felt like it really worked out well there as well now as far as a place i wouldn't wear it i probably wouldn't wear this out on a date night unless i was going to be outside i just kind of feel like it's not really heavy enough for a date night, but if you were gonna do like an outdoor date night, especially when it's hot, I think it would be perfect for that. So thankfully, I think Santal Complet is pretty unique. I do not have any other fragrances in my collection that smell exactly like it. 
Now, although I don't have anything that smells exactly like it, I do have three fragrances I'm gonna compare it to just to help you guys out. I think this part of the video is really important because not everybody gets a chance to smell these fragrances that I talk about, but maybe you have experienced some of the other ones I'm gonna mention. So, first up, we want to talk about Juliet Has a Gun Sunny Side Up. So, I wanna start out by saying that I actually layered these, was it yesterday? I think it, when I wore it yesterday, I layered these two. And I actually think that helped Santal Complete to project a little bit longer. So Juliet Has a Gun Sunny Side Up is a fragrance that features a note of sandalwood. If you're not familiar with Juliet Has a Gun and their fragrances, they all pretty much feature some sort of chemical note. <laughs> and so in this one, I believe it's ISO E Super. So this one to me smells like a synthetic sandalwood mixed with coconut but it's quite unique and I know I said synthetic and it does have sort of, sort of a chemical smell to it but not in a bad way. Um, I hate to say that <laughs> because I know when people hear oh it smells like chemicals they immediately think bad things but I think it works so well in this fragrance. So when I compare it to Santal Complet to me this smells similar because it has that coconut sandalwood take on it but I don't think they smell the same. This one also doesn't smell as sweet. It doesn't have those florals to it, or I don't smell the florals to it as well. And overall, it's just a lot more simple than Santal Complet. But I do think that if you like this one, you will definitely love this one. <laughs> um, and I do think they layer really well together. I like to use this for layering because I find that it helps to increase projection of certain fragrances. And I'm happy to know that I can layer these two for that same effect. The next fragrance that I want to mention is Santal Blush from Tom Ford. And I'll go ahead and tell you guys, these do not smell alike. However, the sandalwood smells similar. So the way that Santal Blush smells so creamy and luxe, it's the same type of creamy and luxe feeling you get from the sandalwood and Santal Complete. So they do not smell alike, but I feel like if you like Santal Blush, you will also like Santal Complete because I almost feel like this is the winter version and this is the summer version. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. This is kind of like deeper. It's not a deep fragrance at all, but this one smell, feels very like moody and I don't know, like creamy, cozy. Whereas this one gives you that creamy, cozy feeling, but without feeling heavy, this is a lot brighter. And I just think these two are ones that if you like one, you'll like the other, but they are definitely not dupes. And then for the third one, I will say I looked on Fragrantica because at first I was like, this smells like something that smells familiar, but I didn't know what it was. And I saw on there that people were comparing it to Jazz Club from Replica. Now my bottle looks crazy, <laughs> but that's because I dropped my original bottle. So I just put it in this bottle that I picked up from Amazon and taped a label to it. But looks aside, <laughs> this is the original juice. It still smells good. And... So I saw a lot of people comparing it to this and I was just like, what? I don't get that at all. But now I do get it. Now these definitely do not smell the same. However, when you smell Jazz Club, it has this kind of creamy, uh, spicy feeling to it. And it's also a little bit sweet, but when I say sweet, it's kind of that soda sweetness. And of course, this does have tobacco in it and it's kind of dark and smoky. That part, I don't think is in Santal Complete at all. But for some reason, when I smell this, the sweetness in it kind of reminds me of Santal Complete. Now, do I think they should be compared on Fragrantica? Probably not, because I don't think they're that close. But I did think that was interesting because I saw it on there and I'm like, okay, when I do smell them side by side, I can kind of get the reference but they're like night and day y'all literally <laughs> this one is a heavy duty nighttime scent this one is a nice daytime scent also this doesn't have sandalwood to my knowledge or if it does you cannot smell it so it's only the spicy nature that is slightly similar to Santal Complete which makes no sense to me because Santal Complete to me is not a spicy fragrance but something in them does smell a little bit similar so I just wanted to mention it I don't think they're that similar but I wanted to mention it in case you saw that on Fragrantica as well because I don't think they smell alike but I kind of get it just very slightly so this fragrance only comes in a 100 ml bottle and I will say I wish Fragrance Dubois came out with more in the 50 ml size because I think it would make it a bit more accessible but anyway, this one is only available in the 100 ml size and it retails for $345. 
All right, so we are finally at the end and I'm getting ready to tell you if this is a love, a like, or a let down for me. So before I do, I want you guys to pause the video, go down to the comment section and let me know what your guess is. Okay, I think I gave you enough time. Let's talk about it. So this fragrance for me is a dun 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 love it is a love for me thankfully <laughs> this is a love um when i first got it like the first day i wore it i wasn't sure if it was going to be a love because it was so light wearing on me and i really couldn't smell it as much as i would have hoped but as i've worn this over the days it's like my nose is more keen to it and i can really smell it on myself even though it's not a beast by any means and the smell is just absolutely beautiful i don't have anything that smells like it and i'm i'm glad that i can combine these two to get more of that projection but even when i wear this alone i don't think the projection is horrible and of course the smell is just beautiful it is definitely my type of scent so i'm glad that i added this to my collection if you guys own santal complete or if you smelled it tried it let us know what you think of it down below was it a love for you is this something maybe you want to try i know it's expensive but you can't catch it on sale every now and again certain places will run specials like so avant-garde max aroma and um, you may be able to pick it up during one of those times if you are interested if you haven't smelled this and you like the same type of, type of fragrances as me maybe try to get a sample because this just smells so good to me anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up also make sure you're subscribed if you'd like to see more videos like this from me and make sure you're following me over on instagram i always try to interact with you guys over there and a lot of times it's easier to get in touch with me over there because i try to respond pretty quickly to my dms i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it thanks so much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye